What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So, tragic, tragic news in regards to this submarine that traveled to see the Titanic. So, for a couple of days now, I've been seeing like little bits and pieces, but I had no idea what was going on. So I had to look back and find out exactly what happened. Um, and this has been going on for a couple of days now. Now, I, I was out of town, so I wasn't really, I didn't know, you know, that this was a really big thing because I wasn't really on like social media like that. But then I started seeing like memes. I started seeing like these weird things. I'm like, what the hell is going on? And so today it was like headlines all over the place. So unfortunately what happened was there was a, um, I guess the submarine tourist, this tourist, a tourist submarine that traveled to uh, in, in the water to go see uh, the Titanic. And so the Titanic shipwreck and apparently it just vanished and apparently this thing only had about four days worth of oxygen in it and they couldn't find it they don't know what happened um they couldn't locate it so it says here that the U.S. Coast Guard uh the said the small submarine began its journey underwater with five passengers on Sunday um, Sunday morning and the Canadian research vessel that it was working with lost contact with the crew about an hour and 45 minutes into the dive. How that happened, I don't understand. I don't get that. How do you just lose a submarine, you know? So anyway, now I'm getting all of this off of the New York Post and we're going to get into the most recent, um, update which is very unfortunate but that's what we know who was on board um it says here the family of world explorer hamish harding confirmed on facebook that he was among the five traveling in the missing submarine um harding a british businessman who previously paid for a space ride aboard the blue origin rocket last year shared a photo of himself on sunday signing a banner for ocean gate's latest voyage to the shipwreck also on board were Pakistani energy and tech mogul uh, Shanzada Dawood and his son Sulaiman, who's 19, famed French diver and Titanic expert Paul Henry Nergiolet and Ocean Gate founder and CEO Stockton Rush. Those are some big, you know, big... Uh, big name people on there. I mean, I've never heard of them, honestly, but you know, they hold a lot of weight when it comes to this stuff, clearly. Um, so it says here that there was debris, um, from no. So it says they departed from St. John's new, uh, yeah, they, they departed June 17th. Um, the location of the wreck, uh, on the Titanic is a little off of that, probably 370 miles, it says. Then it says that what their position was on June 19th. Then it said the wreck of the Titanic is at a depth of 12,500 feet. That's a long way underwater. That is a long way underwater. So imagine losing contact with them an hour and 45 minutes in. That's only a few feet. So if this thing is losing whatever to stay afloat and it's losing contact, that thing is sinking like really, really deep down. So... Uh, let's see here. So there was debris from the submarine um, that was near the Titanic site during their frantic search for the missing crew. Uh, let's see here. Now there is a few, there is some backlash from the family members. It says a daughter of the missing Titanic diver remains hopeful. I think we have to trust search crews, but then uh, a Titanic tourist um, 
Hamish Harding's family slams Ocean Gate for delay in reporting missing sub. So they didn't report it right away. Um, I don't know if they had reason for that or not. Um, but let's get into the most recent thing. And you guys have to excuse me because I'm reading this off of um, the article itself. So, unfortunately, the uh, headline for this states, Titanic sub-passengers died instantly in catastrophic implosion as wreckage from doomed vessel discovered on ocean floor. Um, let's see here. This is a lengthy one, so I'm going to try to just kind of go through it here. Um, it says the, the Titan submersible carrying five Five tourists, including two billionaires, suffered a catastrophic implosion on its trip to view the wreckage of the Titanic, killing all passengers instantly, the U.S. Coast Guard announced on Thursday. Debris from the wreckage discovered on the ocean floor Thursday is consistent with the catastrophic loss of the pressure chamber, effectively meaning the sub was crushed under the weight of the sea at some point after it lost contact with its surface vessel on Sunday. Oh my gosh. I can't even imagine, like, you know, water is a scary thing. Water is a scary thing. I don't know how to swim, but I love being in the water. I've never been on a cruise ship, never been on, on a boat like that, like, never. And it's, there's something a little nerve wracking about knowing that there is like an, endless amount of water in this world, you know, and to just go underwater in a small vessel and being trapped down there. Like I can't even imagine like the mental state that one has to be in to know like you're really underwater right now with no communication, no nothing. Like, that's scary. I'm sorry. Um, it says here, debris from the wreckage discovered on the ocean floor Thursday is consistent with the catastrophic loss of the pressure chamber. Um, oh, yeah. So then U.S. Coast Guard officials said five major pieces of debris from the Ocean Gate vessel were found 1,600 feet from the, 20, from the 1920 shipwreck. So it wasn't that far from where the Titanic shipwreck was. It says it is currently unknown what could have caused the implosion or when, as the sub made its journey to the ocean floor, 12,500 feet below. The Coast Guard added that they don't have an answer for prospects of recovering, of recovering the bodies, uh, pointing out that the bottom of the ocean is an incredibly unforgiving environment to both search and recover debris from. That is unsettling for families, I am sure. I am sure. Because I can even only imagine the ones that weren't recovered from the Titanic itself. You know what I mean? Um, mm. uh, the debris that was found was the rear cover, which seems to have the, um, the name Ocean Gate on it and then the landing frame. Um, all passengers stated in the beginning were on there. Um, they state, we offer our most heartfelt condolences for the loved ones of the crew. Coast Guard Captain Jamie Frederick said Thursday, reached at his home in Seattle on Thursday. Stockton's son, Richard, would only tell the Post, we don't wish to speak at this time through a doorbell camera. I don't, ugh, I don't blame him. They're probably still even trying to process it at this point. The U.S. First Coast Guard District confirmed the discovery Thursday afternoon, saying a remotely operated vehicle, an un unmanned undersea probe, had discovered debris from the Titan, including its nonsacone and the front end bell of the vessel's pressure hull. Hmm. Says a debris field was discovered with the search area by a ROV near the Titanic. Uh, rear 
Admiral John Moger said adding a smaller debris field within the debris field had been found by Odyssey 6, uh, 6K, an ROV, I don't even know what any of this means, made by mass-based pelagic uh, research surfaces, services, sorry, which had been launched from the Canadian ship Horizon Arctic. Um, the Coast Guard also said the debris and information was still being evaluated. Rescue expert David Mearns, who was in contact with those close to some of the victims, said the group was informed that the debris found was a landing frame and a rear cover from the submersible. Again, this is a very unconventional submarine. The rear cover is that pointy end the pointy end of it and the landing frame is this little frame that it seems to sit on. That confirms it's the submersible. Uh, Mearns, who was friends with billionaire Harden and Nerviolet. Oh, boy. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see if it says anything else. Um, it says here, Mearns, whose nickname is the Shipwreck Hunter, further said that he has been told the submersible's Hull remains missing, but the discovery of those pieces of debris could only have happened if the submersible had fragmented, meaning the vessel had imploded. That is probably one of the scariest and it's so unsettling for me to even read this because I can only imagine, I can't imagine what they, what the, what like being trapped in there knowing that there's no connection and then just that thing just imploding. It's just, oh gosh. It says the ocean floor discovery of the debris brought to an end the frantic search for the five who were abroad the vessel, which had started on Sunday when it had been reported missing by the crew of the Polar Prince, the ship which the submersible had been launched from. Ocean Gate told the Coast Guard that the Titan was equipped with only 96 hours of oxygen after it submerged off the coast of Newfoundland Earlier that day, starting starting a race against time to find the vessel and its five inhabitants who had been sealed into the sub from the outside with 16 bolts. So you are telling me that this submersible is not even something that you can exit from. You are bolted inside of this thing. It says it had been thought that the vessel could be trapped in the wreckage of the Titanic, but intact 12,500 feet below the surface of the water with air running out. <sighs> so these five people were sealed into this sub from the outside with, fifth, with 17 bolts. I'm sorry. Um, First of all, my condolences to each and every one of their families and their loved ones. This is extremely tragic. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I would not feel comfortable, not only because I don't know how to, how, how to swim. I'm just not comfortable with the thought of going underwater in something that I have to be bolted into and no way out. Like, that to me is a bit, it's unsettling to me. I can't. I can't. It says the frantic search saw a coordinated effort from the U.S. and Canadian Coast Guard, as well as hundreds of vessels dispatched to the region to help from various nations. One of the major problems with the rescue efforts was the depth, as no successful rescue has ever been made deeper than 1,750 feet from the surface before. So the fact that there has not been a successful rescue deeper than almost 2,000 feet this thing was going 12,500 feet below water. That is scary. That is scary. It says only a handful of craft are able to operate at the depth required. Two ROVs were dispatched to the area of the Titanic wreck, 350 nautical miles from the Canadian island of Newfoundland. The Victor 6,000 aboard... The Victor 6000 aboard the ships uh, L'Atalante by French authorities and the uh, Odysseus 6 
K on Horizon Arctic. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know what these abbreviations and things mean. So I'm sorry if I sound like I don't know what I'm saying. Less than two hours after the sub reportedly ran out of oxygen, the U.S. Coast Guard announced the Odyssey has had reached the ocean floor as the frantic search escalated. Says the Canadian vessel Horizon Arctic has deployed an ROV that has reached the sea floor and began its search for the missing sub. The agency said the Coast Guard also said that um, the Latalante would soon deploy its ROV. Upon the discovery that the Titan had imploded, Ocean Gate paid tribute in a statement saying these men were true explorers who shared a distinct spirit of adventure and a deep passion for exploring uh, and protecting the world's oceans. Our hearts are with the five souls and every member of their families during this tragic time. We grieve the loss of life and joy they brought to everyone they know. So here are five people who are extremely passionate about what they do. They love exploring. Clearly, this is not their first rodeo. Um, this is something that they've lived for. Again, we have got um, two billionaires on board. Um, we've got the CEO um, so it's the British billionaire explorer Hamish Harding, French Titanic expert Paul Henry Negrolet, uh, Nar Nargiolet, um, Ocean Gate CEO Stockton Rush, Pakistani businessman Shah Shahzada Dawood, and his 19 year old son Suleiman. Um, these men were clearly. Um, you know, very joyful about doing their work um, and they should be remembered as such. So once again, my condolences go out to each and every one of their family members, their loved ones. I do hope that they continue their search. I do hope and pray that they, um, that as tragic as this is, that their bodies are recovered so the families can have closure. Um, and so they can pay their proper respects to them. Um, this is extremely tragic all the way around. Um, it's just, when you think, you know, you're doing this and you kind of know there can be some risks to something like this, but this is just extremely tragic. So my prayers and my thoughts go out to them. Leave your comments down below. Let me know your thoughts um, on this whole story. And if you haven't done so, subscribe to my channel, hit like, share, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified whenever I pop up on your feed. I'll see you guys later. Toodles!